Dear learners, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Munish Ahlawat from Institute of Hotel Management, Dehradun. Today, we shall be taking module number 34, titled Laminated Pastries under paper Food Production Operation and Management. The learning objectives of this module are Definition of pastries Most kind of pastry are made with a combination of flour, fat and a liquid to bind. The texture, flavor and color of the resulting pastry will vary tremendously depending on the proportions and type of ingredients used. Other ingredients may also be added to improve taste, quality and flavor of pastries. These ingredients in due sugar, flavor, additives, milk, egg, etc. Pastries may be served as a main dish, as snacks or as desserts. There are different kind of pastries such as short crust, shoe, flaky, puff, filo pastry. These pastries are rich and have a high calorie value because they contain fat, sugar, cream and other ingredients in large quantity. Pastry are leavened primarily by steam which is produced by baking in hot ovens. Pastry is usually preferred if it is tender and does not break too easily when served. Classification Pastry are classified as non-laminated and laminated pastries. Non-laminated, laminated. Non-laminated non pastries are short crust, shoe pastry, Short crust, rubbing method, creaming method, shoe pastry, hot water crust. Laminated pastry, puff pastry, fillow pastry, flaky, rough puff, full puff, lavish pastry. Ingredients used. Flour. The flour used in pastry making is weak to medium strong. This type of flour requires a longer fermentation period. Yet, has a better tolerance for extended work on the bench, especially for dough such as puff or danish which require multiple rolls and folds. Shortening fat Lard was probably the first fat used in pastry making but has fallen out of flavor for health reasons. Pure butter gives pastry a rich flavor and color and crisp texture but it can be difficult to handle. Most bakers use a combination of butter and hard margarine to achieve a balance of good buttery color and flavor with the short flaky texture provided by the margarine. Unsalted butter is preferable because it has a lower water content and amount of salt can be controlled. Liquid most pastry is bound with water, although mill or other liquids can be used. Fresh milk is acceptable to use in any formula. Sugar. It is used to both sweeten the fine pastry and create a crisper texture. A teaspoon or two is often added to savory doughs because the sugar helps the pastry to color. The most common sugar used is the white granulated type. This yields the finest product. Eggs. They are added for richness in texture and flavor and because they help bind all the ingredients together. Eggs improve the handling and quality of the dough. Yeast. Yeast content is increased in pastry dough because of the higher sugar content. Spices and additives a little grated orange or lemon rind should add just the right flavor to your pastry. Flavoring such as vanilla, almond can be used to enhance the dough as can spices such as cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger or cardamom. Laminated pastries Puff pastries, the process of rolling, folding and turning creates hundreds of alternating shades of fat and dough. 
the heat of the oven melts the butter and creates steam that puffs the dough into flaky layers ingredients used are flour must be from hard wheat bread flour the amount of rolling which the dough must be withstand requires flour higher in gluten content shortening is used in relatively small quantities from which the puff is made the reason for incorporating such a small amount is the great amount of roll in fat that will be incorporated into the dough salt is included in some puff pastry dough for improvement of flavor roll in fat is crucial to the quality of the finished puff pastry it should be of the same consistency as the dough itself the fats most often used are butter margarine shortening or puff paste a fat specially blending for puff pastry preparation leavening agents are not normally used in this dough as the dough is folded and rolled with fat multiple layers of dough scaled around fat are formed when the dough is placed in hot oven the fat begins to melt and reaching and lubricating the dough surrounding it the fat thereby creates a small packet in the dough the moisture released by the fat evaporates as it is heated creating steam the steam pushes up the pocket that has been formed this same action is created in hundreds of pockets within the pastry creating the volume a minimum of 8 times its original thickness and forming the flaky texture that makes this a grand pastry preparation of flaky pastry prepare the base dough with flour salt small portion of shortening and liquid allow to chill for 30 minutes cream roll is fat and keep aside roll out dough into a rectangular shape with thickness divide roll into fat into three parts and apply one part to the dough leaving one margin around the edges fold both ends to the center and shut like a book fold repeat this rolling and folding with the other two portions of roll in fat chilling in between folding repeat one more fold without fat chill and use as required puff pastry is made by repeatedly folding dough around a block of butter when the pastry is baked steam trapped inside the dough separates the folded layers this process creates a puffy flaky finished product puff pastry is used in making several products including croissant the method of preparing puff pastry is slightly different from flaky pastry fat which is used for making puff pastry should have a high melting point so that it can endure the friction produced by heat to which it is subjected during sheeting and folding operations dough should be made with chilled water so that fat does not melt during these operations it is always better to use a few drops of lemon juice as it gives better extensibility to the dough dough should be smooth enough so that it rolls out easily too stiff or too loose dough will be difficult to manage when the dough is mixed properly it should be kept in the fridge by covering it with a moist cloth to avoid crust formation for half an hour fat or shortening should be made in a square block and should be chilled in the fridge the consistency of the fat and dough should be similar if the dough is firmer than the fat refrigerate the fat for a little while when the dough is properly chilled roll out the dough in square shape slightly bigger than the block of fat roll each corner of the square out into a thinner flap 
dusting flour can be used while rolling the dough but brush off the dry flour place the block of fat in the center of the square of dough all four corners of fat should be covered with the flap seal them properly but always remember to brush off the excess dry flour keeping it in the fridge for 25 to 30 minutes after this the dough should be rolled lengthwise in a rectangular shape and should be folded in a book form by bringing both the corner in the center it should then be again folded over so that the entire sheet forms four layers in a similar manner after this the dough should be kept in the fridge for half an hour the same procedure is repeated four more time this dough is known as puff pastry and is used to make cream rolls patties etc flaky pastry the dough used for making flaky pastry is constitute salt flour fat and water first the flour and salt are sieved together the dough is then smooth it leaved by using chilled water generally 55 to 70% of fat is used to make the dough approximately about 5 to 10% of fat is mixed in the dough and the remaining fat is used for layering and sheeting fat is added after the dough is mixed so that it allows gluten to develop after proper kneading of the dough it is allowed to rest for half an hour in a refrigerator the dough is then rolled on a lightly flared marble top into rectangular sheet and is marked in three equal portions the total amount of fat is also divided into three equal portions one portion of fat is made soft and pliable so that it can spread easily and it is spread on to two thirds of the rolled sheet leaving the remaining one third half an inch of space on the edges should be left without fat as it helps in sealing the edges then one third portion of the dough on which fat is not spread is folded over the one third portion on which the fat is stored the remaining one third portion with fat is folded over it one can easily see the alternate layers of dough and fat the edges are then sealed carefully and covered with moist cloth and kept in the fridge for 25 to 30 minutes after this the dough is rolled and a second portion of the fat is spread the dough is again kept in the fridge for 25 to 30 minutes the same procedure is followed for the remaining one third portion of fat after this stage two folds are given without using fat at this stage the pastry has several thin layers the pastry is the relaxed for one hour in the fridge it is chilled because a cold pastry when exposed to heat of the oven rises better now the pastry is ready to be rolled out for different uses like cream horns patties etc filo pastry this pastry is mainly preferred commercially and traditional in greece and turkey including sweets savory pies and pastries filo pastry is an extremely thin pastry that is layered in sheets make filo sheet is about the same as a sheet of paper or tissue paper and because of this it is the most delicate of all of the pastries and breaks easily to make filo pastry spread each sheet with butter and layer it in four or five layers before wrapping it around a filling like puff pastry filo pastry is fairly difficult to make because it is hard to get the pastry as thin as is required filo pastry dries out quickly that makes it necessary to keep the filo sheets layered between parchment papers and cover with a damp towel while it is being worked with these can be baked as well as deep fried some other varieties of pastries 
Danish pastry. Danish pastry is made with flour, egg, milk, yeast and butter. It is rich, sweet, soft and crispy. This pastry is a combination of fermented dough and flaky pastry. The rolling, buttering, folding and chilling operations are repeated several times to create a fluffy, buttery and flaky dough. The fermented dough is invariable made by sheeting out the roll, cutting it into various shapes and then filling with sweets like fruit, jam, cinnamon, etc. After filling, it is kept for proofing and then baked. To give a shiny crust, they are coated with sugar, egg or milk. Techniques used in making Danish pastry The technique of laminating Danish pastry and the croissant are similar to that of puff pastry and have some differences. Step 1. Combine the flour, salt, sugar, milk and yeast together in a mixing bowl and knead it to a smooth dough. Take care not to overmix the dough so that the end product is soft and flaky. Step 2. Cover the dough and keep it for intermediate proving. Step 3. Do the knock back. Step 4. Rest the dough and meanwhile prepare the butter block. Step 5. Roll the dough and laminate the butter in three folds. Step 6. Cover the rolled pastry with plastic and freeze in the freezer until used. This is so done to avoid the proving of the dough in refrigerator. Before using for final use, the Danish pastry should be rested at room temperature for some time before shaping. Some widely used Danish pastries are custard Danish, cinnamon roll, bear's paw, pinwheels, flour Danish, etc. Croissant Croissants are a type of pastry in the shape of a crescent. Croissant is made of a leavened variation of puff pastry. The dough is made with flour, salt, sugar, yeast, butter, water and milk. The layer is rolled and folded for a few times to get it characteristic shape. They are sometimes stuffed with cheese or chocolate before being rolled into a shape which is like a crescent. Techniques used in making croissant Step 1. Combine the flour, salt, sugar, milk and yeast together in a mixing bowl and knead it to a smooth dough. Take care not to over mix the dough so that the end product is soft and flaky. Step 2. Cover the dough and keep it for intermediate proving. Step 3. Do the knock back. Step 4. Rest the dough and meanwhile prepare the butter block. Step 5. Roll the dough and laminate the butter in three folds. Step 6. Cover the rolled pastry with plastic and freeze in the freezer until used. This is so done to avoid the proving of the dough in refrigerator. Step 7. Roll the pastry to about 7 mm thick and around 6 to 7 inch wide strips. Step 8. Cut the strips into triangles. Ensure that the base of the triangle is 4 inches. Step 9. Make a small slit in the base of the triangle and roll the triangle like a cigar from the base till the tip. Step 10. Place onto baking sheets and prove until double in size. Glaze with egg wash and bake until golden brown and crisp. Croissants are usually baked plain, but sometimes they could be stuffed with grated chocolate to make chocolate croissant. 
दे कैन बी ग्लेज एंड मेल्टेड चॉकलेट आफ्टर बेकिंग और डस्टेड विद आइसिंग शुगर फ्राइड पाइज फ्राइड पाइज आर कंज्यूम्ड एज पॉपुलर डेजर्ट्स ग्लूटेन इज डेवलप्ड इन द डो ऑफ द पाई द डो इज लाइक शॉर्ट क्रस्ट पेस्ट्री एंड इट इज रोल्ड इन अ सर्कुलर फॉर्म द फिलिंग इज प्लेस्ड ऑन वन हाफ ऑफ द सर्कल एंड द अदर हाफ ऑफ द क्रस्ट इज फोल्डेड ओवर द एजेस आर देन सील्ड विथ स्लाइट मॉइस्चर एंड प्रेशर लाइक अदर पेस्ट्रीज दिस इज देन फ्राइड विद हाफ एन इंच ऑफ हॉट फैट इन अ हैवी बॉटम्ड पैन वाइल फ्राइंग फैट इज अब्जॉर्ब making the pastries soft however the softness is not obtained in baked pies the pies are then glazed with sugar to add shira characteristics and guidelines for making pastries it should be golden brown in color and consistently even in color it should have a pleasant aroma the flakes should be separated it should be soft and easy to cut it should not be crumbly it should not have blisters on the surface it should have smooth and neat edges it should not be stuffed with extra filling it should not be soggy it should not contain extra fat guidelines for a perfect pastry keep all ingredients and utensils cold do not allow the fat to melt while kneading the dough as this can lead to hardening of dough once baked wash hands under cold running tap to keep them as cool as possible sift the flour and other dry ingredients well so that air is incorporated add just enough water too much liquid hardens the dough causing the pastry to shrink during baking too little water gives a crumbly result during rolling mix the dough as quickly and lightly as possible hard mixing and delayed mixing will develop gluten wrap the dough in a cling film and chill in the refrigerator for 30 minutes before rolling out otherwise the pastry could shrink during baking use a lightly floured clean surface and rolling pin to roll out the dough roll the dough in one direction only rotating to get an even shape never stretch pastry dough while rolling it will shrink during baking bake the rolled and blind pastry quickly in a hot oven before adding any filling glaze pastry before baking to give sheen preheat the oven and do not open it too frequently pastry faults and their reasons fault reason crumbly crust too little water too much fat insufficient mixing tough crust insufficient fat too much water too much dusting flour on rolling board over kneading lower crust soggy oven temperature too low filling with too much moisture shrink in pan over handling of the dough pastry dough stretch tightly when placing in the baking pan recipe unbalanced blisters in pastry not pricked enough oven temperature low coloring even uneven heat in the oven unevenly rolled too dark in color temperature of oven very high too light colored temperature of oven too low factors that affect flakiness of pastry character of fat 
that used whether solid or liquid the consistency of solid fat the type of flour used the proportion of water the speed of mixing the method of mixing the number of times dough is rolled note puff pastry proportion of fat to flour 3 is to 4 folding once with fat 3 times without flaky pastry proportion of fat to flour 1 is to 1 folding 3 times with fat once without rough puff pastry proportion of fat to flour 3 is to 4 the entire amount of fat is rubbed in with the flour and kneaded to a soft dough it is then rolled and folded 3 times without any fat danish pastry proportion of fat to flour 1 is to 2 dear students let's summarize we have learnt the difference between the various pastries and also learnt about how to make them in correct way thank you